how to add background color to type or text in Affinity Photo, as well as adding effects. Go to the artistic text tool and create some text. I'm just gonna go with the word merge. At the moment, there's no background. So simply go over here to the character panel and you can see at the moment, you've got nothing there. So click and now bring up this panel and you can change the color. And this time it's changed to red. You can change it to blue, green, etc. You can also change it for the individual characters as well. Just go over here and again, select the artistic text tool and select that character, the M. And you can see it's blue as all the others are. Click and set it to red. You can repeat that, select each character and change the color. Well, what you can also do is you can convert it to curves. You can break it apart. Make certain you've spelled it correctly. Because once you've done that, unfortunately, you can't change the text other than deleting the individual characters. So go up to here, convert to curves, or right click this text group, and then just go down to convert to curves. And what happens? It generates a group. So you've got this group, it's made up of lots of different curves, all the characters, as well as the backgrounds. If you want to combine the individual characters with the background, what you need to do is make certain, go over here, select the move tool, and select the individual characters, and hold down the shift. So you've got that selected, and then you can right click, and you can say group, and you can repeat that. So select that one, and select that, and group, and repeat that for all of the characters. In the layers panel, you'll now notice you've got this. You've got a group, which is the top level group, and then you've got the groups for all the characters and the colors. Now I don't want this top level group, so I can right click that and go down to ungroup. And then you've just got the groups now for the characters. So if I expand that out, say go for E, you can see now I've got this and this. If I want to move them, make sure none of them are selected and then just go to say the E. So select the E, that's the E group. And then I can move it. Then go to the other group. So for the G group, you can see the G group there and then move that. And I can repeat that with all of the other groups. With the group selected, I can also, you can see here the bounding box, I can resize it and rotate it. So I can make that larger and also rotate it. And I can repeat that for the others as well. Make certain you select the group. If you want to rotate the individual characters inside, you can of course select the individual characters or the background. With the G group selected, I can apply some effects. You can apply it of course to the others as well. So go down to effects, click there, Make certain the Gaussian blur is selected and click the checkbox and then change the radius and that will blur the G. You can also go in here, make certain it's selected, the 3D, and then change the radius and change the soften and so on. Click close. If you decide you want to change the color of the background at this point, what you can do, you've got the E, just go here, expand out the group. So there's the group there. I can just go down here to curve this blue, and I can change it. You can see there I've got access to the fill, so I can just change it and make it maybe yellow. If I want to apply some filters, what I can do, I'm just going to go to the E group, so select the entire group, and then go to filters, and then go down and say to distort and twirl. And you can see the distortion is applied to the entire group, the E as well as the green background, and click apply. Go to the R group, and you can change the blending mode as well. You can see there, if you go to the top here, you've got pass through. You can change it. Maybe go down here and select to difference. And you can see as you do that, anything that's below will be affected. You can also go to, to the E group and you can go to layer and down to new adjustment layer and maybe apply one of these adjustments. So black and white. Now you'll notice that all of them affected at this point because it's applied on top. Once I close that, just close that panel there, I can simply select it and then drag it down to the group that I want to modify. So say I want to modify the M instead. So M, click there and just drag and just drag it down. And you can see as I do that, it's just on that group and release. And the M is the only one that becomes black and white. And also do it with effects as well. So select the group, then go to layer and new live filter layer and go to distort and twirl. And apply a twirl there as well. And you can modify that and you can see now the M is distorted, but it's live and you can see the effect is being added there within the group. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions about this, please put some comments. Always great to hear from you. Also, please subscribe. Always adding new videos about all kinds of things about Finity Photo, Photoshop and others. A like or dislike, always appreciated as well. Thank you much.